Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall. This is a Mendeley Masterclass for, uh, recorded for Shaw at the University of Sheffield. And this video shows you how to annotate um, PDFs within your Mendeley database. So I've got the desktop version open here and I can uh, see whether I've got a PDF attached to a reference by the fact I've got the little kind of PDF uh, logos by the side. So I'm going to open up this one which is one of my own pieces of work. Uh, by double clicking on the um, uh, PDF and it's it's a it's a proof of a book that I edited so just to show you what I can do once I click this open a new menu will appear if I close it down that menu disappears so if I open it up again the menu up here appears so in here I can go into this and I can uh, highlight text I can highlight an area so if I click highlight text I can go in and start to highlight the text, um, any bits of the text that I want, like so. Just like you would do with the yellow marker. If I go over it again, it goes darker. So you can see here, the first time I scroll over this text, it appears to be one color, like so. And then if I go over again, um, if it just lets me do it, if I go over again, it goes a darker color. So it's almost like rubbing it over with a pen. I can go in here and change um, uh, the actual kind of uh, uh, thing to a highlight rectangle. So again, I can go and just color in large areas of the the thing that I want to do. So just like just like a marker pen that I that I can go in and mark. I can go and um, also leave notes. So if I scroll further down onto this here I can go and click note and if I pop a note just on there I can type in whatever I want like so and it leaves a little bubble there and when I close down Mendeley so I'm going to just close down that actual PDF when I open it up again that note is still there if I click on it it tells me what it is if I go to notes here on the right hand side I can see that particular note and I can leave as many as these little notes as you would do with a conventional book or a journal you get little post-it notes stick notes on just to remind you why you want that also if it's quite useful for you to go to the full screen so if I click that it removes any of the menu so I can focus more on just reading the actual article and if I hit the escape key it goes back I can zoom in and zoom out, so if there's any particular things I need to see something closer, like a table, I can zoom in and zoom out. And I can also uh, click the share button like so, and I can just open that up and it will give me the option to then send uh, an email to someone and share that document via email and I can put a message in as well. That's if you have the rights. Remember, obviously, you need to make sure you have the rights to share the documents that you've got, as uh, as many uh, you may not actually have the license or the rights to do so. So it's important you check that. Um, so this is really this kind of function that you have within the, the document reader uh, in the desktop version. So again, it's very useful and uh, one that uh, I'm sure many people would use.